It's that Mel Sally to me, and that I like, you know, and you locked in with the hood, you bow, bow. So welcome to the whole journal I'm here with. Yo, you with that? It's that Mel Sal nigga, man. But I act like you know. Yes. You locked it with the whole journey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mel Sal, I'd like to start off with my interviews, giving my guests a father's appreciation. I mean, appreciate you for being patient. We were supposed to lock in a while ago for me. But you stuck with it, bro. You kept doing what you had to do. Hit me up again. I was like, yeah, I definitely got to give bro opportunity, bro, because you feel me? Up and coming with this drill shit. Up and coming with this rap shit. That's a fun. Feel me? Came to your side, feel me? I appreciate you for locking on me, bro. And feel me? I'm ready to lock in, ready to get started. First question I gotta ask, you mind telling me where we at? We in Eden World Projects right now, feel me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's like my second home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mel Sal, talk about your upbringing, bro. Tell me about, feel me, what it was like growing up in the Bronx, growing up in Eden World, feel me? Memories that stand out, growing up in the Bronx, you no know, shit like that. Well, feel me? Like, I always, like, like I was always at Eden World, but like, I was, like, I'm from Slaughter, you feel me? Okay. So, like, just, but, like, yeah. Growing up over there and shit like that, and over there, like, it's just crazy, like, I seen a lot of shit. They did a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. No, regular broke shit, bro. I want to say my life was bad growing up, but my shit wasn't easy, though. Word. For you, for me, what are some memories, negative or positive, that stand out for me from your time growing up on the S and then to your time growing up in Edelwood? Growing up with, growing up with Slutty, for me, like, like, positive shit, like, I met a lot of niggas for me, they friendships. That's all just going outside, bro, doing, doing shit I'm not supposed to be doing for me in the hood. This is, over here though, like, I don't really got no bad memories over here. Like, when I come over here, it be all love for me, for me, from niggas I fuck with and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Say that for me. You spend more time in Slitter or you spend more time in Eater Wool? Spend more time in Eater Wool. Any reason for that? Just for me, I fuck with my, my eat dumb niggas. It's, I fuck with niggas who fuck with me, right? Like, type shit, type niggas shit. Niggas don't, bro. You know you don't fuck with me, bro. Why would I chill around you? Nah, type shit, feel me? Yeah, I fuck with some story niggas, don't get me wrong, but a couple niggas just know I don't fuck with, you don't fuck with me. Or Say that, for me, I know for me, it's just the, the slaughter is on the rise right now, for me, a lot of dope artists. That's a fact, like I said, baby man. Right. Wait, that's pretty much it, bro. I, the only slaughter nigga I really listen to, bro. My son, baby, man. That's it. Type shit, type shit, type shit. Yeah. Feel me? Um, and then Eden Wall, feel me? I don't feel like Eden Wall get the love, like, or the recognition that they deserve, feel me? Um, like, even when you told me it was from out here, I was fake surprised. I was like, okay, so we got somebody putting on, for me, for this side, so, it's a, for me? It's a lot of us, though, not just me. It's a lot of niggas, bro. A lot of niggas that's not here right now, for me, they in jail, freedom. Take my son, Banger, free k -Dot. Free drills, free tongue, free herbal. Take you know, Free everybody who else I miss. Say no more. But we're going to get into all that for me. Who was some artists you listened to growing up and some artists that inspired you? I'm not going to lie. Like, shit, like the artists I grew up listening to, I got my music taste from like both of my parents and shit like that. Like, like I grew up listening to all types of shit. I grew mm -hmm. up listening to trap music. Just New York, like gritty shit. Like, Type shit. Like stack bundles for me. I don't know if they know what that is. But. Nah, he, 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 he a legend back in the day. That's a fact. That's, but, but now, like... Like now, when I got my own, like, got to do my own thing, I really gravitated towards Young Boy and shit like that. Like, that's the only artist I really probably bought. And like Richie Rose and shit like that. Richie Rose? I don't like listening to drill music because I make drill music, feel me? Right, right, right. So it just, it just gets too much, feel me? Stop! Uh, yeah, so far. Stop! Yeah. Come on, Feel me? Uh, you bring up Young Boy, feel me? What was it about Young Boy that made you fuck with his music or fuck with his flow? I guess because for me, like, I look at him, I be like, damn, that could be me. Like, niggas is close in age from me. So, that could be me. I just, I got inspired, bro. Right. I saw, that shit made me want to rap. Like, I always had the dream to want to rap. But that shit always made me want to rap. Thank you, thank you. Bad for me. Um, why you feel like, I feel like NBA Youngboy gets a lot of hate type shit, feel me? A lot of niggas, um, they, they, they put disrespect on his name. Why you feel like that's the case? Cause bro, that nigga talk a lot of shit, bro. But nigga, I feel like you talk shit, bro. You a man, you can be yourself, bro. Right. That's what comes with it, bro. Niggas don't like niggas, cause they probably they doing better than them. No word. That's all. It's like you not popping if you don't got no haters, type shit. Yeah, you word. That's yo. That's what I'm saying. Right. If you don't got no haters, bro. You obviously doing something wrong. 
Why Richie Rose as an artist that that stood out to you? That you that you listen to his music? Just listening to Richie Rose, bro, he be talking like He's pain, he's tough. I'm not gonna lie, like I relate to a lot of that shit. Like it'd be me and my man, so we just be listening to that shit. O D. Um, I can't really listen to the niggas drill music, bro, cause right. and then a lot of niggas be lying and they shit. And I don't just it's controversial. Drill music is right, a very right, controversial right. topic. Right, right, right. Gangsta. But with, with, with niggas like Richie, I be on that melodic show that love song today. Yeah, really like the other day, like he inspired me to make some shit like that. Like I got some crazy shit that I'm talking right now. Yeah, so we gonna get into all that, but before I we get into, so Richie Rose, I mean, he be talking about bitches. Are you saying you DTB? Type shit. I ain't gonna lie, DTB, bro. <laughs> I'm heavy on the DTB, bro. Yeah. It's a difference between bitches and females, gangster. Respect, respect. I right, best say no more. When did you feel like it was that moment that you wanted to become an artist yourself? Well, like once I once I really wanted to become an artist was once like I knew my name was known. I knew a lot of niggas knew me. Hello. Like all for good reasons and all for bad reasons. I knew a lot of niggas knew me. And I knew I was nice, bro. Right. And I could get better over time. Okay. So. When did you know that you was nice, so, man? Was like, you? 2020 in January. Okay, okay, okay. Like, that's when I started recording on Dan Live and shit like that. Okay. I was just gonna make it. You were recording on your phone type shit? Nah, not on like a phone. It was okay. on like a computer and like an iPad, believe it or not. I was okay. making mad songs with an iPad. Okay. okay so. How did you learn how to start making music on an iPad and on a computer? Cause of like just playing with that shit, going on YouTube, looking at different presets. I was like, yeah, I'm about to get nice with this shit. Word. Just dedicated my time to that shit. But then over a while, that shit got played out. So I started just going to the stool. I like the stool bar more. Think so. What was that first studio session like for you? My first studio session, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was crazy. I was nervous. Cause I'm, for me, I'm like, what if the engine didn't say my shit trash? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the engineer not jacking it. The public not going jacking it. Right. Gangsta. So, yeah. so what was the reaction you got from the engineer? What was he he was, I was like, bro, fuck with you, like, yeah, bro, this shit hard, bro. Like, I fuck with the beats too. He was mm -hmm. like, yeah, beats is fire. Gangsta. Was you tapping into the samples back then? Yeah, like that's when I first started rapping on, it was really samples. Okay, okay. Like once, once I heard Shawnee Ben Laden, I was like, nah, what the fuck? That shit fire, bro. Started asking my mom, like, yo, ma, what's this song? Sample and that shit. Right. Gangsta. Feel me? I know. Um, what, what, I know you mentioned that your mom was a big reason why you got into music. Like, what type of music was she playing growing up? R and B. I feel me. My family Jamaican and shit. So dance hall, uh -huh. just all types of shit. But I'm not going to like type of shit. So is that where you get like a lot of your samples from? When Definitely. you when it's time for you to make your own music? Definitely. Say so that. When do you know? When do you know when it's the right sample to use? When that shit got a lot of like people dancing to it, like TikTok songs. I go mm -hmm. on TikTok. I be in the crib smoking. Send that shit to a producer, be like, yo, sample this game. He sampled that shit for me. Come on, fuck it. Well, if I like the song, if I like your song, I'll sample your shit. <laughs> shit. Respect, respect for me. It sounds like you got a, a, a good ear for music. Like you said, you're not really listening to drill. You're trying to listen to other genres of music. That's a fact. Helping your career type shit. What was that song that put you on the map? Or, yeah, what was that track that put you on the map? I'm not gonna lie, it's just one song, my, that three time song I mean, Like, that shit just hit 10,000 streams on Apple Music. That shit is going stupid right now. And like, the one I did my video to, the Every Hour Shot song, like, right. a lot of me was jacking that shit. Yeah, so congrats on hitting 10K. Like, when you reached that milestone, how did that feel? That shit felt good, bro. I knew I was doing something right, bro. Right. I was like, I'm better than what I could be out here doing for me. Right. Okay, so. Say that, say that for me. I'm going back up the phone, because um, I got a couple notes here, but who is, who is Mel Was that the first project? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was my first tape. Talk to him about that first project. I mean, what was that like making that? What do you remember most about making that um, that piece of work? I'm not gonna lie, it was like the summertime. I was just, I was so odd. So like, everything I was doing that summer, I threw on the track, like some crazy shit happened to me when I made the first song, like some back door shit, like just stop killing the niggas. I was like, fuck niggas. And I was like, I don't kill the raw niggas. And you said it in the track? I said trapping out the hotel shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. I was taking care of niggas. And they started moving weird, bite the feed them. So. Type shit, type shit. I think since then, feel me? I'm gonna read this out. You got Who is Mel Saf 2? You got Slime is Grinch, Slime is Grinch 2, Who is Mel Saf 3, Prince of Samples, Prince of Samples 2, and Sav Season. Gangsta. That's like six, seven projects, feel me? And I got another one coming. When, what's the name of that one? I'm not even gonna tell niggas right now. All right, but we just gotta wait and see. Just gotta wait and see. Why so many projects, feel me? Why so many tracks, feel me? 
Talk to me about your thought process when you putting these projects together. I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't. I just, like, whatever I make in a month, the next month I'm going to drop it. And it'd be like 10, 15 songs, maybe even more. So it's just like, I be having, making so much music, bro. Like, I got like 200 songs in a cut that I never drop. Like, that ass, like, not even lying. Like, got 200 songs in a cut. For me, just I ain't dropped yet. So. How many songs are you making in a month? In a month? Probably like 30 songs. 30 songs? Mm hmm. That's like one a day. <laughs> one a day, two a day. Gangsta. Sometimes I make a song in the morning, finish it later on in the day. Where's that work ethic coming from to be making 30 songs? Because that's not, that's not normal. I want to I wanna get lit. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be the next face of the Bronx. Like, I want niggas to know me. Right. I want this shit, like, I got a ground for this shit. It's I not going to come easy. Right, I respect it, man. I feel like the harder you work, the more chances you got to making that song that pops. Hell yeah. You feel like you dropped too much music like, all at once? Definitely. I feel like in some songs, I could have been like, I could have just did something with that, like a single, and it would have popped, but it's still like, songs like that, they get the attention that I expected is gonna get on the team, so. Right. So I just get more, more and more attention as time goes. Right. I know you can't speak for everybody, but like, do you feel like you should, more artists should do like what you're doing, like rather than filming? A lot of artists drop like six singles in a year, but you drop like six projects in a year. You feel like more artists should drop six projects in a year? Hell yeah, because if you got fans, once that one nigga like that one song, bro, he always gonna be in tune to you. He gonna listen to all your shits. Whatever he doing, he gonna be doing. He gonna be listening to that shit, bro. Right. Like, I feel like music is just, niggas just love music, bro. Tape show. Niggas always dancing nowadays to drill songs. I could come up with a dance to my shit, that shit is go up. Right, 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 that's a fact. Gangsta. Any, um, any, like, since dropping in 2022, like, the, the six, seven projects you've dropped, like, any projects that's like a favorite of yours? Any songs that's like a favorite of yours that stand out? My favorite tape? It gotta be Who Is Mel's Out of Three. Mm. Why that one? Because like that one, like, I don't know, bro. Like the samples, the way I put that shit together, like, I was just, like, I'm not gonna lie. I put my, I use my head with that tape. I use my head with that tape. Right. And I shit did exactly what I wanted to do. And I shot a video to one of the songs. Shot my first video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say no more. Why do you consider yourself the Prince of Samples? Because my shit is crazy. Like, niggas hear my... I put niggas on the songs when they hear my samples. Gangsta, like... Right, okay. Or the bro, like, niggas never know that song. And I didn't want to listen to that one, too. And my shit. Gangsta. Who do you feel like, for me, in the towns or just in general, started, like, Sample Drill and started that wave? Shoney Bin Laden. You feel like a Shoney? Yeah. I just feel like I'm the Prince of Samples because I'm the first nigga from the Bronx to really be nice with this shit. And I don't even, like, I'll be dissing to my music, but, like, nine times out of ten, I don't be dissing as much. Okay. So, yeah. I don't like, I don't like really dissing for a friend. Oh, no. And niggas just be dissing my dead, so. Right, right, right. So, so why, do, why do you feel the need not to diss? I, I, I like that stance, but what's your explanation behind that? Because in all the reality, bro, if you think about it, it's a lot of niggas out here that rap. And they can't rap without dissing. God. No, sir, where we at, gang? Wait, feel me? We E dub, bro. We not, we not block that. Niggas be saying that they fall deep on. Gangsta. <laughs> be lying. <laughs> Niggas don't be fall deep, because we out here and we. Gangsta. Yeah, say that, say that. Feel me? I wanted to finish up what we was talking about earlier, feel me? Nah, yeah. Give me your thoughts on the state of Bronx drill. Shit, me? Is, shit is horrible. Like no, sir, I was here to save the day. <laughs> Gangsta, I'm here to save the day. I'm coming for everybody, every hood. I don't go fuck one of my dads. Wait, I said. So with that being said, are you saying that you better start like dissing in your tracks or shit, or are you just gonna continue with your flow and I'm not gonna take lie, over? bro. I'm about to drop my last little bit of diss songs that I got. Okay. I'm gonna shoot a little KZ shot into this one shit I got. There we go. And then boom, is that shit gonna do what it's supposed to do? Then I'm gonna come with some, some non dish shit. I'm gonna just always have my diss on. Thank you. I'm gonna diss forever, bro. I can't lie. Type shit. Sure. Fuck it. I'm gonna be dissing. As long as these niggas dissing, I'm gonna diss. I'm gonna respond. Because right. if these niggas see my name, they need tracks, bro. Right. And sometimes they never even see me. They see me one time. Right. And when they saw me, it's not what they say it was. Gangster. All right, All right bro. Come in. Uh, what do you see the state of the Bronx drill in five years? Mel South gonna have this shit lit. Um, yeah. Most side for me, we in the fourth quarter. 
What should the fans expect from you music-wise for the rest of the year? I'm gonna drop this one tape, bro. I'm gonna shoot like two videos, and then I'm going ghost. Just to cook ghost? Out. Yeah, I'm gonna I, come back. All right, so for me, I know you don't got a name for the project yet, but you got to release it? Yeah, on my birthday. Oh, November birthday? 7th. November 7th? Yeah. Say no. At 12, at 12 o'clock midnight, New York time. Say no so. more, say no more. Blah, blah, blah. Like and 15 then. songs, no features. Can't say. Say no more, and then for me, how long are you going to go ghost for? A couple months. I said, my son don't need no features. Wait, I don't even want to do songs with the E. I only want to do songs with E-Dub, niggas, you're right? Free my son, Binger. And for me, shout out to my son, Hood Topic Lucky, where the bro? Yes, sir. Son. Talk to me about, for me, the other talents are artists and, for me, rappers that's coming from the south. The I go lie, the other rappers that's coming from the south, bro. That's like, them niggas is dumb tough, bro. My son, Binger, he tough. Or another nigga, who else? PG, PG tough. PG the one, he nice. Same Hood Topic Lucky, he nice. Or Flacco. It's a lot of niggas, bro. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, bro. We in the biggest projects in the Bronx, bro. It's a lot of us, bro. Right. So if I don't get to name a lot of niggas, bro, you just gonna see them around, bro. Say that for me. I know you mentioned that a few of them is locked up, feel me? Yeah. How come more artists avoid jail in 2023? Stay in the stool, lock it in the stool. Just yeah. lock it, nigga. Lock yourself in a booth, 23 and 1. If you could afford it. You know what You can't afford to be in the stool, nigga. Yeah, being a rapper, not for you. Interview, not interview, interview. Yeah, sir. All right, guys, say no more, say no more. Where we headed to now, gang? We about to go to the G. No, sir, where we at, gang? For me, we in the G, for me. So. I guess no, we at, bro. Why they call this a G? It's just for me, for Gav. Say that, say that. All right, guys, say, say that. Bernard, uh, but mostly for Gav, though. That's what niggas call it that. Type shit. I know they be having a lot of basketball tournaments out here. We have a lot of basketball tournaments out here. When we gonna see you in one of them? <laughs> at night time. At night time? Only at night. I only play at night. So, <laughs> I play basketball at night time. Say no more. Say no more. I right, bet. For me, Mel, we were talking about it before we started recording. For me, a little situation that happened a few years ago. How's you going viral on Facebook? I guess the ops, for me, uh, caught that's you in the store. Just explain that situation for me for those that was talking crazy about it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. For them niggas that be sucking my dick, bro. They know what's up, bro. But for the for the internet niggas that don't know, y'all niggas suck my dick too, bro. What the fuck? I don't gotta prove nothing to nobody, bro. <laughs> and like, when it's time, when it's time, and you see me, nigga, you gonna know. Right. Straight like that. Do feel me? Like, when situations like that happen, do niggas, I guess niggas that you cool with, because obviously the ops is gonna say what they're gonna say, but like, niggas that you cool, do they look at you differently? Yeah, for me, but that's more so like, honestly, like, I would, that shit mostly bring, like, that shit tell you really in the corner too. Right. And them niggas you gotta watch out for, bro. Can't say. How you know when niggas are still in your corner after a situation like that? You just know. Like, loyalty, loyalty shows, bro. Actions speak louder than words. Right. Right. For them niggas that did switch on me, though, blow cock, nigga. That's all I gotta say. I don't like, I don't fuck with niggas, bro. I don't like that weird shit, bro. Like, that good shit. Right. I guess last question on that topic for me. Knowing what you know now, anything you would have done differently in that situation? Got it on. Yeah, tape shot. Just shot my hands. Where the bro? Because if I don't want to go like that, man, I would have just got it on, man. Right, right, right. Most of this question on my guests to get a scope of how they feeling, game. How's your mental health? How my mental health? Yeah, talk to me. I'm chilling, bro, honestly. I just want to get money, bro. And I wanna, I wanna make everybody's situation around me better, but more so mine. So you get what I'm saying? Like, right. I wanna see all my niggas and E Dub win, bro. All my niggas. Just. Right. Feel me? You already feel me? You already got the right mentality, right work ethic. Feel me? Dropping super frequently, dropping a lot of projects, a lot of dope tracks. But feel me? What do you have to? What do you feel like you have to do to not only put your name on the map, but put your hood and put your guys on the map too? Shoot some videos, bro. I got some videos coming real soon, bro. Right, bro. I just, I'm just taking my time, bro. I'm being patient, bro, working with God, bro. Right. I said, bro, just, when the time is right, bro, God gonna tell me, bro. That's fair. Smoking a pet peeve, a nigga do this round, you can't smoke shit no more. I ain't gonna lie, if a nigga wet mouth the blunt, or the one that is. If you wet mouth my Swift game, Chief and two, man. Chief and, Chief and two, bro. But more so wet mouth it, bro, you wet mouth the blunt, bro. What the fuck you kissing my blunt for? Like, you know shit, I mean, I don't smoke, but shit happens, right? 
Nah, shit don't happen. <laughs> now we're smoking weed, bro. Like, nigga, we getting high. You want to make out with the weed, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be crazy. Why well, I feel like you serving somebody. Nah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You just saying in general. Ah, uh, you see, he is serving somebody. Nah, I knew it. fuck, nah. Hell no. <laughs> but order about Style Chief in my, feel me? Stop wet mouth in my bunch, bro. <laughs> nasty. I don't like it. I bet. Oh, for me, when you get that first big payment, what's the first thing you're going to do? Uh, invest it to my music career. Like, I mean, it all depends on what amount. Like, Let's say you I get, get a, a mil. A million dollars right now? Yeah. Fuck rapping. <laughs> real estate. I'm out to real estate. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> what I need to rap for? So I'll just rap for fun. But I'll, I'll definitely call my mom. Like, hello, mommy. I'm coming home. Just be like, hey, mom, this is for all this shit I did as a kid, die. Boom. Respect, respect. I so uh, know how much I appreciate her love and shit like that. Talk to about your relationship with Mama Love. Bro, my mom, bro, my mom sacrificed, bro. I think so, bro. My mom made sacrifices for me and my little brother, again. Yeah. Not just my mom, bro, and my dad, bro. And my dad, bro. Right. Both of my parents, bro. I got a good relationship with both of my parents. That's I love them to death. They love me. Right. They, they support my positive decisions. It's a fact. Say no more. Shout out Mama Love and Pops. Gangster. If you could have dinner with any five people dead or alive, who would they be and why? Dinner with five dead people? Mm. Dead or alive? Oh, dead or alive? Yeah. All right. I mean, who alive would I have dinner with? And you don't got to be, a lot of people think you, you got to say famous, they don't got to be famous yet, but. Some fire, I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather have a dinner with Ruby Rose. <laughs> She's pain. More to go. Nah, she well, is pain, she is pain. Mm, I would say Jay the Youngin. I make a dumb tough. Yeah, RP bro. Gangs it. But I still, I like Young Boy though. That's why I said That's why I said it. But, well, not gonna lie, just a, just females, bro. Like, my, like Gangs it, bro. Just females, bro. That's it, bro. Just females, bro. And some of the bros that died, that's it. Probably my grandmother. That's it. Oh, she, is she still with us? Nah, my grandmother died. Rest in oh, peace, rest, rest, rest in peace. peace. Gangs it. Say that. Most important part of the question, what's on the menu for the dinner? What y'all eating? Mm. Crab legs. Oh, yes. you, you be bug, you, you in the seafood boils? Yeah, if not, nigga, <laughs> we go to a Jamaican restaurant. I'm taking Ruby Rose to the top of the hill. That's my favorite place to eat or to <laughs> put it on the top, top of the hill. Gangsta, bro, niggas go to the top of the hill all the time, gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they to eat at Burke, for me around Burke. Okay, around Bert. No, so what's the biggest thing you learned in 2023? Fuck it. I'm the, the guy, I'm the, I'm the fucking, what's it called? I like it. I mean, it's a good question. I control myself. So any situation I get into is because of me. So right. I make the choices for me. You know Not seeking validation from no man. Right. Except God. That's a fact. I better say that. For me, with that being said, for me, what's your goals for? We're in the fourth quarter now. What's your goals for the rest of the year? And what's your goals for with the music and life in 2023 and beyond? I'm about to go out for the rest of the year, bro. We just get some money. He said, working on my high school diploma, get that. Yes, sir. Really yes, sir. Get that degree. Music shit, bro. And y'all going to be seeing more of me, more videos, I should say. Say no more. Got a lot of songs, so you know it's going to be a lot of videos. That's a fact. Camera so. man's better top in before it's too late. So I just say, fuck y'all, niggas, shoot my own videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Say no more for me. You all in your way, bro. Keep working, keep grinding, keep doing what you got to do. You're going to get to where you want to get to. That's a fact. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the support, bro. You as well. Yes, sir. That's a fact. Right, I got two more questions left. It's cold for me. I know niggas want to go inside. Uh, who you want to see next on the Hood Journal? Oh, who I want to see next on the Hood Journal? Yeah, said, like, I want to see one of the bros. Come to Edo again, bro. You gotta come. You gotta do the whole Edo again. Watch that right here. Watch that flock of. That's, that's a fact. Man. See the bros on that shit. When my son Benga come home, definitely gotta get my son on the hood journal. Say no more. I gotta come back to E Dub. E Dub yeah. shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. I'm Mel Sir. Marks the interview is the talking shit segment. Anybody you want to shout out? Anything will give you a chance to the pretty one here. I just want to shout out my family and all my supporters, the ones that's here right now and the ones that don't feel me, niggas who listen to my music. Yeah. And to them niggas that don't like me, to the ops for me, 
But what about, it's a lot I want to see right now. It's a lot of niggas that dad be dissing. Look, and dog be dissing me. She no rocks for me. Y'all niggas is bought. Gangsta. I real life one on ones with these niggas. Know how they get. I niggas is pussy. Stop saying my name in our songs. Gangsta. Fuck 1300. That's pretty much it, bro. Say no more, say no more. Mouse off, thank you for locking in, bro. Thank you for bringing me that E dub. Yeah. Me. Oh, drop my keys. Damn. Oh, yeah. Mouse. Yo, Mouse off, thank you for locking in with the oh, journals, bro. Thank you for bringing me the E dub. Keep doing your thing. Keep putting on, my boy. That's a fact, bro. Yes, sir. That's a fact.